Hello, Gerald. We already thank you for responding to the appointment for this new episode on the Canadian Health Law. My name is Abraham Amikotu and I'm the director of the company called Cabinet Canada Sans Frontier, abbreviated as CCSF. We offer specialized services in immigration to Canada for all those who want to go there to study, work, make a tourist visit, or simply set up a business. We have only one physical office located in Togo, in the capital Lomé, the municipality of Gulf Set, Wanome District, Immeuble Star, opposite Pharmacy Bonté on the road to Segbe. Please type Cabinet Canada Sans Frontières in Google Maps search bar and you easily find the location of our physical office in Lomé, Togo. Whether you are in Southern, Eastern, or Northern Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in the United States, even in Canada, we can serve you. There are no border limits to the offer of our services because these are offered via the official platform of our company, which is CabinetCSF.com. And you can find this address in any search engine in the world. So for any need for information, guidance, and assistance regarding the country of Canada, and for any contest, please contact our company, Cabinet Canada Sans Frontier, and you'll be satisfied like a fish in water. To benefit from our services, you must first be a customer of our company. And you only become a CCSA customer after you have purchased our subscription service only on our platform, CabinetCSF.com. Finally, remember that we do not help, we do not endorse, nor do we offer you the Canada visa. Only the federal government of Canada validates and issues visa for travel to Canada, and this through its embassies around the world. The Canada Health Act is the federal law that governs health insurance. The Act sets out the primary objective of health policies, which is to protect, promote, and restore the physical and mental well-being of residents of Canada and to provide them under certain conditions with access to health services without financial or other obstacle preventing need. This law includes five criteria and two conditions that provincial and territorial health insurance plans must meet before receiving full federally funded health care funds and these are public management completeness universality transferability accessibility information and acknowledgement in the criterion of public management it is requested that the plans of the provinces and territories be managed on a not-for-profit basis by a public authority. For the following criterion, provincial and territorial plans must cover all medically necessary services provided by hospitals, doctors, dentists, when the service must be rendered in a hospital. The universality criterion means that provincial and territorial your plans must cover all residents, whereas the transferability criterion implies that when residents of Canada travel from one province to another, from one territory to another, or from one province to a territory, they must be covered by the health insurance plans from their starting point. And for residents travel abroad, limited coverage is required. Finally, the accessibility criterion stipulates that all provincial and territorial health insurance plans must provide all residents with satisfactory access to medically necessary services. Access should be based on a medical need, not ability to pay. Did you have any questions? Don't hesitate to ask us. We will be delighted to light your lanterns. 
But remember to become first a customer of our company by purchasing our subscription service on our company's platform, cabinetcsf.com. We look forward to seeing you in our next episode for more information on Canada's healthcare system. Cabinet Canada Sans Frontières. Immigrate to Canada with confidence. <laughs>